it's all fudged up. Since the camper is broken from the last video, if you haven't seen it, go back and check that out. Uh, we're actually in the Geo Tracker today and I'm on a road that's north of Jerome, Arizona, which is up in the mountains. I've seen this road on maps and I've wanted to come up here and camp, but there doesn't look like on maps that there's a whole lot of good places to camp, at least with a truck camper and a dually truck. So uh, that's why we're here with the Geo Tracker is because I'm gonna hunt down a place that would be good for camping and uh, I might need the four wheel drive to get there. So that's what we're gonna do. No, I gotta hit that puddle. Um, I mean, I hope I don't get stuck, but I mean, gotta lock the hubs, put in the four wheel drive. All right, so this has turned into like an off road adventure. I was just gonna go camping, but there, wherever, right now, it just seems like it's puddle after puddle after puddle. And in Arizona, we don't get puddles very often. So uh, when we do get puddles, it's cool to just go through them in, in your off-road vehicle because um, we don't get mud here. Usually it's just climbing over rocks. Mason, you ready to go do some off-roading? Yeah. this spot. I like this spot, bud. Oh, come here. What do you think? There's somebody exploring the area. Yeah, you good boy, huh? You like the spot? You done peeing on everything? In order to go tent camping, we need a tent. And that's right here. So let's get it set up. This hammer was actually given to me by my parents when I was a kid. This is actually the first hammer I ever owned. Um, yes, mom and dad, I still have it. <laughs> I got an air mattress this time. I usually do a cot, but I don't know. Figured I'd try this out this time. So I'm gonna use this power station to air this mattress up because it's AC or you know regular plug outlet. So we're gonna just plug it in. I'll press this button. You can see AC light kick on, and then this is the watts I'm using right this second, which is zero. <coughs> But the pump just kicked on, so you can see it now. It's gone up 48, 51 watts. We already got about halfway aired up. There we go. All at 99%. 
It's gonna be cold tonight. Had to bring extra sleeping bags. Come on up. So, uh, this is actually, I'm using some stuff from my backpacking and gear just because I don't have a lot of room in that geo tracker. So this is a uh, ultralight pillow that I got and it's actually really comfy for a blow up pillow. Um, in fact, this thing only takes, I think like three or four breaths to fill up, which is one reason why I liked it. What was that, three? <laughs> You want your pillow? I'll put it there if you want it. I'm gonna have to go find some firewood. Huh, oh, but. I'm gonna use this area as my kitchen. That way I can use this as kind of a countertop as well. And I got my lantern up here so it has some light. And I'm starving so I can't wait for dinner. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get everything done though before I actually start dinner. You hungry, buddy? Hmm? Ready to eat? This is where I'm gonna be hanging out tonight. I'm obviously chair, table, fire pit, and firewood. I don't really like using the fire pits that are built onto the ground because they require so much water to cool everything down. I mean, that heats up the ground and the rocks around it so much that, uh, yeah, even maybe it would be bare minimum, three gallons, three to five gallons of water to put out. And then on top of that, you have to stir the ground up and everything. This. I can put out with a quart of water and I can go to bed. I don't have to worry about anything catching on fire or the wind blowing everything or anything um, starting forest fires. Huh? Where, 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 where? Oh, you want to play? No, you want to play? You want to play? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> How's that sound effect go? <laughs> Insert slapping sound effects. Oh, you're full of it right now. <laughs> Where are you going? Woo. Yeah. Oh, and that is my cooler. It's battery powered. So I have all my drinks and everything in there. And uh, yeah, so that's my refrigerator. And I have all my food and everything gonna be locked up in the geo tracker, which isn't good because if a bear wants it, it's it's just gonna tear it apart, but um, it's better than having it in the tent with me, right? It's getting cold. I had to put my uh, jacket on already. You wanna watch me make a fire? Yeah. I totally lucked out. Somebody already pre-cut a whole bunch of uh, kindling right here. It's nice now, I don't have to do it. Here it is.
I actually forgot that I didn't have like the match light, the self lighting charcoal. So I'm gonna stick some little piece of wood in there. Hopefully we'll just get all this charcoal lit. Might just take a little while. I'm gonna use this hot plate to cook the uh, my side dish on, which is gonna be cheesy cauliflower. I've got the cauliflower here, which is already chopped because I don't wanna have to do it. Uh, I have American cheese, and I also have my favorite hot sauce, which is uh, Sugar Bob's finest Vermont maple sriracha sauce. Um, this is, oh my gosh, man, you don't even understand how good this is. Okay, I gotta plug in the hot plate. I already have the cafe lights plugged in right here. We're still sitting at 98%, and remember, it took 1% just to air up the mattress. So uh, those lights have been on for a while. We're still at 98%. This hot plate's probably going to suck a lot of the uh, power out of this thing, but that's okay. We're going to see how good it does. So I'm going to plug in the hot plate right here. The AC button's already on. It shows we have power. Let's see if the heat will work. It's heating. Yeah. It looks like we're using about 940 to 950 watts. We're still sitting at 96%. It's doing awesome. It's running this thing like a champ. And then add a little bit of hot sauce. I think that's done. I haven't even cooked the steak yet. I'm, wait I'm waiting on the charcoal to get ready. And I'm starving right now, so I'm just going to eat this. It does not look like the best dish I've ever cooked. In fact, <laughs> most of it's stuck to the pan. I hope it tastes alright, though. We're gonna have as a pork steak. While I have the fire going, I'm gonna heat up some water in here to kind of do some dishes. Put that on there, heat up. I just need this warm enough to break everything up. That cheese kind of stuck to everything. It's warm enough to remove the cheese. Let me go dump this water out. At least got most of it. I'll uh, I'll wash it better when. I get back to the camper. It's good enough for now. I think it's done. Oh yeah, that looks good. You know, this is what I had growing up was pork steaks. My parents would always make these. So, I don't know, they just always bring back good memories you know every time I eat these I love these things so I want to talk to you guys about this because I'm seriously excited about this this here is the Vito man flash speed 1500 which is a power station it's kind of like a generator but there's no motor this will power whatever you need powered and um, you could take it camping you could take it in your car parties barbecues whatever it is that you need i mean there's so many it's things that you could use this i don't even know where to start but what's cool about this is you can get the optional solar panels and have 400 400 <laughs> watts of solar to, to charge this thing i have 400 watts of solar on top of my truck camera that's all i can cram up there so that's pretty awesome to know that you can do 400 watts on here you can also charge it up through your cigarette lighter if you're going to be driving around all day but the cool part is the AC input. You have a cord that you plug in right here. You plug it in to a wall outlet and this thing charges in an hour. From zero to full in an hour. I, my cell phone doesn't even charge up that fast in an hour. 
So the fact that this <laughs> big old thing charges up in an hour is just insane. Um, that would change, if you think about it, that would change a van lifer's like capabilities. You wouldn't have to have the solar up on the roof if you don't want to. You can just, uh, I don't know, when you're at the laundromat once a week, plug this thing in at the laundromat. It takes an hour to charge up. That's nothing. <laughs> that you're good for like another, I don't know, four or five days to a week. It just depends on how much you use. Um, that is a huge game changer. <laughs> now, if you just, I'll give you a little tour of the front real quick. But you've got here, this is for jumper cables. You can also get jumper cables to be able to jumpstart a car. Um, yet another reason to have this thing in your vehicle or while you're camping. You don't have to worry about getting stranded. Um, right here is just the, the numbers, kind of like the, uh, this. well, this is where the capacity is. It's at 81% right now. This right here is the watts that you're using. So right now I have it plugged in to the lights that, these LED cafe lights that are around camp and then I'm charging up some camera batteries over here under the USBs and I'm only at 13 watts but this is good to know because like if I was using that hot plate I had no clue it was a thousand watts so uh, I could see how many watts it is and just know okay I need to hurry up and just not leave that thing running um, same thing with some I mean you can plug a microwave into this you can plug a hair dryer whatever you want into here and you'll at least kind of know if you're just going overboard on it um, but either way this thing has a 1500 watt inverter in it and it's a pure sine wave inverter which means it's clean energy it, it, some cheap inverters have like big spikes and drops and stuff in the power and it could damage sensitive devices like cell phones and laptops and stuff you don't have to worry about plugging any of that stuff into this you can plug whatever you want into this because it's just clean energy and it's not going to mess your devices up um, this right here is like the, the switch to turn on and off this section, this area over here is the USB switch to shut and turn these on and off. You have your USB C outputs right here. This is for like, uh, some iPhones have these, but, uh, yeah, you have just regular USBs and then down below this blue one is, um, like a quick charge. I mean, it's kind of got everything. It also has DC over here, um, uh, that obviously plugs, uh, turns on the DC side and you have your cigarette lighter port right there. Um, just the device itself is only 15 inches by 11 inches and it's 40 pounds. I mean, a beefy kid could have no problems carrying this thing around and it's durable. There's nothing hanging off. The handles aren't hanging off to break. They're, they're built in tight and it's a good shape for packing away um, your gear in the back of your SUV or truck or camper or whatever you got this in. Um, the top is rugged, you know, you have the, the little cubby where you can put your cords, which is awesome because I always lose my cords, but, uh, you can also stack stuff on top of this because it in itself is rugged. Um, I feel like Vito man has thought of everything. I want to thank them for sending this to me. You don't even know how excited this makes me. And I feel like this is going to change the course of my channel. Um, if you guys are interested in it, I'll put a link below in the description. You'll get a little bit of a discount on it and it helps out the channel. So it's a win-win situation. It's a full moon out tonight and it's gorgeous. Um, the camera's probably not picking it up very good, but, um, either way, I'm just enjoying the full moon and enjoying this fire. It's so nice out right now. I think it's like 60 ish degrees, but you know, I got a jacket. That's all I need. <laughs> it's perfect. We got Mason boy sleeping right there, huh? Nice and warm. Got the heater on in here. I'll show you how I have my nightstand any kind anytime I'm like camping like this. Or basically anytime. I've got a fan. I probably won't need it. It's gonna get down pretty cold at night. Um I'm on an incline, so my water bottle has to lay down, it won't stand up. This is my bear spray. This is a uh, extremely bright flashlight. This is also a bright flashlight. There's something at the power station in here at the camera tucked over in this corner because I have a huge radius around this where there's nothing hanging above it 
there's nothing around it because I don't want to catch on fire. Um, even though I'll probably shut that off when I go to bed. I just want to heat it up in here until then. So I got some comfier clothes on. This should keep me warm tonight. Uh, it's only going to get down to like mid 50s tonight, maybe low 50s. But either way, I think between this and my sleeping bag, it should be pretty nice. I'll make sure Mason stays warm tonight. And uh, yeah, should sleep good. But for right now, I'm just doing a little editing. I'm not really sure how much I'm going to do though. I'm just, I'm already tired. So uh, I might just end up going to bed here shortly. That, that heat over there is just making it so nice in here. I just want to go to bed. But um, uh, I'm trying to turn this Mr. Buddy heater on and I, it won't stay lit. So I guess there's no heat tonight. Good morning. I slept like garbage last night. It was so cold. But I'm just glad the sun's out right now. A little dusty, but that'll work. It's too windy outside to make a fire, so I'm back in here. Uh, I got the Mr. Heater to kick on. I don't know how for how long, but um, hopefully just enough to take the chill off in here. I'm just glad it actually started for whatever reason. I don't know why it didn't start last night. Warm coffee should help though. All right. Used up 5% uh, of battery to make coffee. That's not bad. That's the good stuff right there. I wish I would have had this hours ago in the middle of the night when I was freezing. But it's all right. I have it right now. That's all that matters. And it's actually not too bad in here. I don't know if it's partially because the sun's hitting the tent now or the fact that the actual Mr. Buddy heater kicked back on again. Um, I don't know how long it's going to go. It's been on for like five minutes. We'll see if it goes on for a little while longer. I just don't know what's wrong with it. I've heard people have issues with them starting. Um, I just have never had problems with this thing, so I'm just surprised. But I'll figure it out. One more thing to add to the list, you know? I'm just gonna stir it up a little bit. That already looks good. Now you just close it and you wait 15 minutes. Some Vermont maple. I wish I would have brought salt, but this this will help out. There you go. Well guys, I had fun camping, just chilling here with you guys. It was a fun time. Weather was nice other than uh, last night, it got a little cold, but that's okay. Uh, so uh, the next video will probably be me fixing the truck camper because I don't have enough time to make a video and fix the truck camper. So, uh, you know, you guys might not want to see a repair video, but I'll make it as entertaining as possible and just stick it out guys, if you don't mind. And then we'll be right back to camping in that truck camper and doing more adventures. So until next time, I'll see you guys then. Thanks. Bye.